Hey, what's up everybody? Ryan back here with another grounded video. In this one, we're going to do a little updated version of the crow feathers. More specifically, what locations are new? Are the old ones still going to be able to harvest feathers from there? So let's just break right into it. All right, so the first area obviously is over here at the, uh, the pagoda and the pond. So recently, I've not seen any crow feathers drop over here. Not saying that they don't, but the same rules are still going to apply. Typically, when the crow lands in one location, they're going to drop one little feather that will only uh, award you one piece of a crow feather. And then he have a, has a chance of dropping the bigger feather, which I think you can get anywhere from five to eight pieces. Typically, I get around four to six. So and you'll see him drop over here on the water. Sometimes they'll land on the lily pads and stuff like that. But next location we're going to cover and go check out is the bird bath down here in the southeast corner. So we'll be right back and I'll see you guys over there. All right, guys, so here we are. We're over here at the bird bath, and typically you're going to see the crow feathers when he lands right up there on the uh, tree branch. Typically, you'll see one down here. And I don't know if they've changed the size back to having the little feather and the big feather, but typically before the hot and hazy, you had a small feather, which indicated that you were only getting one piece. And then you had the big feathers, which would uh, award you more. So sometimes you'll see them drop over here all around the bird bath. Check on the backside, check on the sides and everything as well. So we'll go ahead and get this one, and then we're going to head over to the next location. All right, everybody, we're still here at the bird bath. And I just want to show you real quick because our bird friend just landed up here, and he did drop a, uh, a feather down here. So let's see what we got. And it's another small feather. So, all right, now we'll head over to the third location. We'll see you guys right back here in a second. All right, everybody, so we're over here at our third location, and probably the safest one that you're going to find crow feathers early on. Once you finally unlock the uh, the crow crossbow and stuff like that to make the feather arrows and the marksman cap and stuff, um, this is probably going to be your safest bet. The only problem you're going to have here is that the feathers, typically they're going to land on top of the grass planks. So when you're looking around, make sure you're checking on top of the grass. And you're going to see them drop on top of the mysterious machine all around this area. And mainly because where the crow lands over on top of this laser over here, you can see them over in this area too. We'll go check that out real quick and see if we got any on it down here. It doesn't appear that we do. Just get up here and check. Oh, there is one right over there. So we'll drop down. Go get that guy. Nice. So we do have one right here. And it's another small one. So a lot of these locations um, in the original areas are still going to be the same. And typically you're just going to end up with one of the uh, small feathers. Once we get into the newer locations for hot and hazy, then you're going to start seeing the bigger feathers with like five to six pieces in them. So, Which takes us, we're going to go ahead to our next spot, which is going to be over in the haze. Now this is a really dangerous area, especially if you don't have the haze turned off. It's going to be really difficult to get in there and get the feathers, but we'll go over there since I have the haze turned off and I'll show you some of the locations they get over there. So be right back again. All right, everybody, so we're back. So we're right over here on top of Rake Rock Point. And uh, for this area, it's really beneficial to get a bird's eye view, no pun intended, to see if you can see any of the feathers laying on top of the, the dry grass uh, area. So we take a look around. I'm not seeing any. So, unfortunately, the other way to check this area is to get down in here. Obviously, be careful. There's a wolf spider over here. You're going to encounter a lot of infected larvae, infected mites, uh, weevils, ladybugs. So, what you're going to want to do over here is check these little canyons, right? So, the same canyons that you can get quartzite from. You can also find mints as well as uh, crow feathers. Obviously, it's a very dangerous area. Make sure you're prepared with some good armor and weapons in case you have to fight. We'll just take a quick run around some of these canyons to see if we see any. Not seeing any. And it's a lot easier rather than running down inside the canyons to check. Just uh, run across the, the edge of them and you can peek down in there. Because there's going to be a ton of infected weevils down in there. 
So you kind of want to pick and uh, choose the spot where you want to drop down, harvest the crow feather, and then get out of there as quick as possible. Not seeing any here. It is one of the benefits of having the haze turned off, though, is that uh, you do get a lot of the resources down here. So I'm not seeing any, so we're going to go head over to the picnic table, which is another area where you're going to be able to find crow feathers, and that's one of the locations that the crow actually lands. So we will be right back again. All right, so over here at the base of the shovel, uh, that gives us access to the picnic table. So if you guys don't know how to do this yet, I do have a video on it. I'll put a link in the description, but there's going to be a rock back here that you'll need to use a splat burst or a brat burst on, blow up the rock, and then the shovel will fall down, allowing you to climb up to the picnic table. So let's go ahead and head up here and see if we got any crow feathers laying up here for us. Obviously, one of your uh, things to look out for up here is the bees. A lot of times they won't attack you, but you may get one or two that uh, do. So just make sure, again, as you're running around trying to collect these crow feathers, that you're outfitted with some good weapons and armor. At least in these outlying locations, the uh, Mysterious Machine area, not too bad. And you can find them on the ground as well, so... If you're not finding any up top, just drop down and uh, scour the land below and see if you find any. And again, to get access up to the top of the picnic table, you've got the handle on this cooler right here. You'll just need to use your hammer to hit it and it'll knock it down. So I am not seeing any. You may have to run into the little castle for the uh, Minotaurs and Myrmidons here. Because there have been some that fall in there as well. Just do the whole perimeter of the castle in and out. It's easier, you can just run around in here and uh, sometimes you'll see them on top. And there's other supplies and stuff, other resources you can get in here while you're in here anyway. Some gum. There's a lot of uh, food items up here on top of the picnic table. So basically just stock up. I don't think we're getting any luck on the uh, the picnic table. We'll go ahead and hop up here. See if we can't. Nope, nothing on the picnic table. So I got one little extra location that I want to show you guys. And then uh, we've got one more after that. So two more locations I want to show you guys that are pretty fruitful in getting your crow feathers. You're going to be able to get a lot in a short amount of time. They do take some getting to. Um, one is going to be up on the porch up here for the backyard. So you will have to build something to get up there. Earlier today I found three of the large crow feathers up there. So if you're not seeing any down in the haze or anything like that, because the crow will land on top of the weed killer um, spray can. And sometimes the crow feathers will end up on the porch up there. So we'll go check that area real quick. And then our last area is going to be the sandbox. Probably the best area to get uh, crow feathers among the other resources like spicy shards, mint shards, and salt, and quartzite as well. But it's obviously the risk comes reward. Uh, there's a lot of danger going in the sandbox of the antlions popping around and the sizzle. So if you're not prepared for that, then I suggest just sticking to some of these other locations. So we'll get up to the porch and then uh, we'll see you guys over there. All right, we're over here by the back end of the porch. So you guys can see what I did here. Just built a stairway up here. There's easier and quicker ways to use less resources, but I like my stuff to look somewhat natural in this uh, crazy backyard. But get up here and they do fall behind this construction line. So just a quick area. And like I said, if you're not seeing them down in the haze, then hop up here real quick and check. Because I found three of them earlier today. So it doesn't appear to be any here. So we're going to head over to the sandbox and I'll show you guys where you can find the crow feathers in there. So we'll be right back. All right, so we're over here in the sandbox now, and uh, the best way to get crow feathers in this area is gonna be, one second, please. All right, best place is gonna be when you're digging. So uh, you see all the uh, the trail markers I got out here, that's gonna be all the buried treasure locations. And you're gonna have a chance of digging up an actual uh, treasure case or a chest. And that's gonna have different things in it, like sunken bones, crow feathers, uh, sometimes a meal like a case of delant lion or amelant, mint shards, spicy shards, <clears throat> excuse me, salt and stuff like that. So the best place to get those, there's four chests over in the sandcastle. So we're going to head over there and check those out. There's going to be three ant lions in the sandcastle area too. So obviously be careful. Like I said, this is going to be a really dangerous area. So I don't recommend coming over here for crow feathers until you've got some good gear. Anything salty will, uh, 
do pretty well against them. So make sure you have your black ant shovel and come over here to the locations. Should dig up a chest like we are here. We'll be able to get some crow feathers out of here. One crow feather there. Let's go ahead and hit these other ones up. And having these trail markers out here really helps because you can actually dig up the treasures at night. That way you're not having to search for them. So nothing there. Check should be one more on this other side. One more antlion. Alright, well I don't know where he is so let's go ahead and check. Alright, nothing on this one. Alright. We'll check this one. Let's see if we get lucky. There you go, another crow feather. So, the RNG is going to be uh, dependent upon how many chests you can actually get. So obviously you've still got nine more areas out here that we can go dig and try to get chests at. Odds are you're going to get a spicy shard or a mint or a salt shard, but those are all the locations now with the addition of hot and hazy to get crow feathers. So hopefully that helps you guys out. Just keep an eye out. Like I said, check for the feathers on top of the grass planks and stuff like that. And you guys should be able to get quite a few in no time. So end up with five there, not too good, but we didn't get very lucky with a lot of large feathers in the other locations. So that's all we got for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. All that good stuff that I'm always asking you. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Stay original, my friends. Later.